right, in this video, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to uh, eliminate all the scratches on the bottom of the uh, outright skeg. Um, if you go to a sandbar as much as we do, you're always going to be faced with uh, shallow areas. And um, uh, every time you get to a shallow area, you have the possibility that the skag is going to touch the bottom. Um, even though the areas here are usually um, sandy, uh, you can still get scratches. And uh, I'll show you here. You can still see that right there, all the scratches here. And that's when it touches the sandy bottom. So in order to save that and um, not having to repaint the skag all the time just to keep it uh, safe, we're going to add a safe skag protector from Panther. And um, that'll go right there. So stay tuned for the installation. It comes with the uh, bolts that you need and uh, the installation is fairly simple. Uh, all you have to do is place this part on the skeg and then drill two holes and then once you drill the holes all you have to do is install the bolts that come with it. I mean it's real simple um, installation and anybody can do it. And um, I highly recommend it, especially if you're in shallow areas, uh, like in the Florida Keys, you um, will protect that skeg from uh, hitting rocks or sand and scratches and so on and so forth. Uh, this will save you from a lot of hassles in the future. It's a pretty heavy uh, stainless steel. Uh, has a lot of weight to it, so it's uh, really heavy duty. Okay, the uh, skeg kit comes with everything you need. Comes with the tools you'll need to uh, fasten them. Comes with the uh, instructions, pretty simple. It's just this little piece right here to here. That's all the instructions right there. And I comes with extra bolts and nuts. I guess it's uh, this one's probably a little longer than the one on there, just in case you need it more, more long. But uh, it comes with everything you need, so everything is here. All right, let's get on with the installation. To complete the installation of your new skeg guard, all you're gonna need is a drill, 5 16 size uh, drill bit. It comes with the two Allen wrenches that you need to uh, tighten up the uh, bolts, the bolts, and this comes with the package. All you need to provide is the drill, drill bit, and in your um, rubber mallet so you could hit it in place. And that's all you really need. So here we go. Here all you have to do is just put the skeg in there. And you have to use a rubber mallet, tap it in place. And uh, once you have it in place there, all you have to do is drill two holes right here and the important part of drilling these two holes is that when you drill them you have to be level all the way through you can't have it go in an angle or anything like that so you have to be straight in and straight in so that way you can follow and come out on the other side of the, the uh, skeg protector that's really important the other thing you may want to look at this is the um, outdrive drain oil plug right here so you don't want to get too close to that so you want to have a little space there in case when you need to open this up the other important tools that you need before you start this before you drill before you cut eye protection must have
that we did here. We use a 5 16 is what it's calling for. And then it says to try the, the screws before you put the uh, Loctite on the screws. So we're gonna try it out, make sure everything goes through well. And in this case here, the screws, the first screws that come with it are too short. So we're gonna use the other set, which is a little bit longer than this one here. These are the uh, longer ones here. This is the one that goes on the other side. Okay, and they work fine. Let's try the other ones. So now the next step is to uh, put the uh, Loctite on the screw threads so that way it'll be not permanent but it'll stay there any vibration won't, won't let the screws come loose in the future. So we're going to take them back out again. Put the Loctite on. the uh, Loctite uh, liquid and I'm going to cut the tip here so we can apply onto the threads of the screw. Okay, that's the first one. Same thing to the second screw. And the next thing you have to do is just tighten them up well, evenly. Comes with two of these so that you can use one on one side and one on the other to tighten up the uh, bolt well. And that's what we're doing next. It. Perfect. Installation totally complete.